Hi, welcome to Tag Arcade. So if you find this tutorial helpful, definitely go to www.tagarcade.com and click on this nice little button on the top right hand corner to show your, your support. So in this tutorial, we are going to install Android Studio uh, so that we can compile our Unity apps to the Android platform. So in order to begin, let's go ahead and go to google.com and do a search for Android Studio. Once you do that, you go to developer.android.com and download the Android Studio. Let's go ahead and agree and go ahead and download the application. Uh, so let's see how long this is going to take to download. It's going to take about 47 seconds for me. Uh, so as always, I am going to go ahead and, and speed up the video. Okay, so now that we downloaded Android Studio, let's go ahead and download the Java JDK. Uh, so that's another requirement in order to uh, run Android applications. So we need the Java JDK. Uh, so we could actually use the Java JDK 8 to run our application. So let's go ahead and download the Mac OS X. So yes, I accept the license agreement, and please let me download the JDK. Uh, so let's go ahead and see how long that's going to take. Well, that's not bad, 24 seconds. But as always, I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video anyway. Okay, so now that we got both of those installed, or downloaders I should say. Let's go ahead and install each one of them. So I'll go ahead and install my JDK first. And we're just simply going to hit next all the way through. Continue, install, and there we go. Yay, that was very quick. Uh, okay, let's move it to trash. Why not? Uh, so let's go ahead and close that. Close that. And now let's go ahead and go with Android Studio. Okay. So Android Studio is very... Easy, just go ahead and drag it into my applications folder. And we have to wait for Android Studio to copy over. Okay, let's go ahead and find Android Studio and run that. Uh, so the most important thing about Android Studio is we have to download the SDK. Or not the SDK, but like all the important libraries. But yeah, it's the Android SDK. Uh, so I don't want to import anything from a, a previous version of Studio because this is this is a brand new install. So let's go ahead and continue on. Okay, welcome. This wizard will set you will set up your development environment. Okay, hit next. Uh, we'll choose the standard. And it looks like it'll download uh, all my tools into this nice little folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. And I'm just going to put it into my notes section. Because I have a feeling I'm going to need that later. Uh, more specifically, I need to put that into the uh, Unity uh, Development Studio. So I was already going to select the best options for me and let's go ahead and, head and hit finish.
Okay. And I guess the Android Studio finished. Wonderful. Uh, let's go ahead and close Android Studio. So now that both of them are installed, let's go ahead and try to compile our Unity project to Android. Uh, so let's go ahead and start up our uh, template project. And go to our build settings. And let's select uh, Android. So let's go ahead and switch. And then build and run. Uh, so in this case, um, we'll just put in the root here. And we'll just say test. And hit save. So let's see what happens. So please select the Android SDK root folder. Uh, so that's what I saved last time. And our Android SDK is in my case under users, uh, Tag Arcade Inc. library. So there's no easy way to get to the library. So I am going to go to Finder, click on here, and hold, I think, the Option key on my Mac to go to my library. And where is it? Under my library, Android SDK. So I'm going to control click on this, and I want to make an alias. And once I do that, I am going to move the alias onto my desktop. So let's go ahead and create another finder window. Click on my desktop and move that alias there. Uh, the reason for that is after I close all of this, I get to go to my desktop and can navigate to my SDK. So that was enough to get uh, Android Studio to find the SDK and continue on compiling. Okay. So I do have my Android tablet right here. Uh, what I'm using is is an and is my Kindle Fire. But no Android device found. Make sure the USB has been enabled. Check to your device. In most cases, there should be a small icon on the status bar telling you if the USB is connected. If you are sure that device is attached, then it might be a USB problem. Okay. Uh, so, looks like we have a little bit of problem. And let's go ahead and find out why. Okay. So... Like I said, I am using my Kindle Fire HD, and a lot of times in order to run applications, we have to go into our settings and enable, um, let's see, and yeah, we gotta go to security and enable third-party apps uh, installation. So I do have parental controls, so I'm gonna go ahead and type in my password, so I'm gonna move the camera away Why I do that. Okay, so I put in my password and hit OK. Oh, let's try it again. Okay, so let's try this. There we go. And I guess the most important one is apps from unknown sources. So I'm going to enable that because uh, my application is definitely going to be from an unknown source. Uh, once we do that, let's go ahead and go back to our main menu and let's go ahead and retry this. Okay. So it looks like we have a little bit of problem with the USB 
B uh, debugging. So we're going to go with plan B. So what plan B entails is downloading um, an app that I like to use. It's called AirDroid. And the good thing about AirDroid is you actually don't need the USB cable anymore to download apps. Uh, we could do it all over Wi-Fi. So let's go ahead and start my web browser, which in this case would be my Silk browser. And we are going to load uh, Air Droid. Okay. Once that goes, we are going to simply download now. Okay. So once the download is complete, we're going to open it. And we're going to hit next, 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 install. So that'll make uh, installing applications on the Android device a lot easier. Okay, let's go ahead and, head and open. So we'll say next, 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 and we'll sign in later. Okay. Hit OK. And now uh, we could transfer files. Okay. Oops. Looks like my f f phone went off. Okay, so in order to transfer, I need to know my IP address. And in my case, it's going to be 192.168.9.15. Uh, so uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to go to that on my computer. But before I do that, let's go ahead and build my APK first. Let's go ahead and build our project. I'm just going to say test and hit save. And this should build my APK for me. Okay, so my bundle identifier has not been set up correctly, so I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to click on my player settings and look at to see what my bundle identifier is. So we're going to go other settings. And yeah, it's not set up yet. So in this case, you it's reverse DNS, so I have to say com dot tag arcade tag arcade dot in this case we'll just call it template. Uh, once we do that, let's go ahead and hit enter and try to build our project again. And hit save. Okay, so now that we got our test APK, let's go ahead and open up a web browser, close this window, and just like we on that previous window, we're going to go to http colon slash slash 192.168.9.15, hit enter, and let's try this again, uh, http colon slash slash 192.168.9.15 Yep, and I forgot the colon 8888. Hit enter. There we go. And now when that happens on the tablet, we're going to want to accept that new connection. Once we accept it, we could go ahead and install our new application. Okay, so let's go to files. Um, I guess I usually put stuff in downloads. And in my downloads, I have a few downloads in here. 
but I am going to grab my APK and simply drag and drop. That should be enough to get my um, APK file in there. Once it's on my Android device, I get to go to, um, let's see, I get to go to tools, I believe, file, go to my device, look for my downloads, and I should have test.apk, which I just downloaded. Uh, so let's go ahead and install this application. And hopefully we get to see our hello world. So let's go ahead and open. Made with Unity. And our beautiful hello world application is running on my Android device. And that's it. So, um, yeah, there you have it. We have installed Hello World on an Android device. Uh, so if you like what you see, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And until next time, have fun and keep on creating games.